Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. You say good morning, bud. Um, so today we are gonna be doing a little bit of airport standby. So I have the same shift that I had last time, if you guys missed it. It's from 7.31 at night until 1.31 in the morning. I'm only good for three days, so I guess we're gonna have to see what happens. But before, I need to pack all my bag, I need to get ready, I want to go to the gym. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, go follow me, I'll plug it in right here. But I did post over there that I was finally starting to weightlift again. This is the first time that I've been weightlifting since I got diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis, actually since before that. It was nerve wracking, it's nerve wracking because like my body doesn't look quite the same that it did when I used to be like really in shape. I haven't gained that much weight, but definitely things are jiggling, I'm not used to jiggling. You're basically starting from ground zero, again like you're not pushing nearly as much weight as you were before so it was intimidating going back but I'm glad I finally did it we all start from somewhere basically so that's what we're gonna be doing but before we do all of that I do want to go ahead and get my athletic greens going this morning thank you to athletic greens for sponsoring today's video it's the first thing I've started doing in the morning it's my new morning routine I've really been trying to take care of my body inside and out so we're gonna do a scoop of this and then get eight ounces of water with it so whenever I'm at home I just go ahead and open up my canister and have one scoop of this just pour it into the travel bottle and then go ahead and add some water into it about 8 to 12 ounces so I just fill it up to about there and then also I do take a drop of the d3 k2 vitamin as well but it's super easy even when I'm on the road because they have these travel packs so I can just throw a couple of these in my bag and then you just go ahead and close it up give it a good shake and drink And I know you're probably looking at it and being like, there's no way that tastes good, but it does. It actually tastes really good. It has just like a very mild, like almost tropical flavor. Like my husband and I both love it. We've both started putting this into our routine. So we both have it in the morning. One scoop or one pack has 75 different vitamins, minerals, whole foods, source superfoods, and probiotics. And it fits in with my lifestyle. It's super, super convenient, very travel friendly. I can just take a few packs with me. I don't have to cart around a ton of bottles of different vitamins. I don't have to worry about how they're gonna work together, how they're gonna work for me it's just it's really just made easy for me and athletic greens is very lifestyle friendly so regardless if you are keto paleo vegan dairy free gluten free athletic greens will work for you so if you want to try out athletic greens today go ahead to the link in my description box when you click it you will also get a free gift of a year supply of vitamin d3 and k2 as well as five free travel packs on your first purchase so i'm gonna go ahead finish drinking this get my gym stuff together and get ready to get on out of here a new place, a new home For a while, let me feel alive Nothing to hold me back Take my time, just enjoy the ride so welcome to the Dallas airport. I'm sorry I didn't like vlog in between. I like went to the gym and then came back and I was so tired. Like I barely, <laughs> I barely walked out of the gym. Like my legs were numb. I'm, I'm for sure gonna be feeling it. But anyways, did that, had some rice with ground beef at the house. I always love it when you just put taco sauce and like some tortilla strips on top. It's so simple yet so good. It's like a go-to post-workout meal for me. Oh, one more thing. I did look at like the list um, of like the people on reserve at home that were on call and they've pretty much gone through everybody. So I would be shook if they don't use us today. Yeah, I would be very, very surprised. So fingers crossed it's gonna be for like London or something. <laughs> Hopefully we get a little bit lucky because it is um, Sunday. So Sundays are pretty busy. It's like everybody's coming back from the weekend, but okay, I'm, I'm done. I'm done, I'm done blabbing around. So let's get our stuff out and go inside. <laughs> a new man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. Okay, so I found like the coolest pot. This is like off in the corner and there's like shelving. I literally have y'all on the tripod on like the shelf. There's like two chairs over here and I'm just like, I'm in the coolest little spot. It is a little bit warm up here. I feel like the AC just doesn't run as well up at the top. But anyways, um, right now it is 7 12. So we will start our standby shift in about 20 minutes. All right, let the games begin. <laughs> I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive. 
so I had to move pods. I figured out why there was nobody at the other pod, why it was so cool and nobody was there. And it's basically because there's like a strobe light and it's just like blinking the whole time, <laughs> just blinking. And I finally had enough. I was like, I can't do it. I'll go crazy if I stay here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and have lunch. This is just the rice and ground beef I had earlier. And then I brought some little tortilla strips to go with it. I was in the dark, against it all, the man do the thing, cause I find my way. guys <laughs> what a night um this one was a bit crazy because crew scheduling had a shift change right after they assigned me the sequence so then the sequence wasn't showing up on on my actual thing so i had to like call them then i didn't have a hotel had to call them again it was just like crazy but finally we are here the flight was delayed so our odn rest is even shorter so let me put my stuff up let's get the stuff in the fridge i still have to finish the rest of my of my beef and rice but we gotta we gotta hurry so anyways i'm gonna go ahead and get the stuff together and then we'll sit down and talk about what an odin is and what that means for us since i didn't know where i was going i brought meals so i have um the rest of my beef and rice that i was gonna eat got a water and then i have my ice packs as well as two factor meals that need to go into the fridge hopefully this works okay and then that should be where the ice packs go okay so hopefully you guys don't mind but i'm going to eat the rest of this while we talk because again we have to <laughs> we have to go as fast as possible but an odan stands for on duty all night not to be confused with a rocket they're very similar but still a little bit different so the way an odan works is it counts as two days but it's only one duty period so it counts as two days because you start on one day and you end on the other but it's only one duty period so the entire time you're flying counts as like the same as it would for a one day. Like if you were just flying a one day, that's how they see this kind of trip. So you have just like a little short period where they will give you a hotel, which is like what we're doing now. So tortilla chips are nice and soggy now. I think I actually have hot sauce. I have the Taco Bell hot sauce. I'm obsessed with their Diablo sauce. It's like my favorite, it's so good. Um, but anyways, so the way an Odeon works is you take like the last flight out of the night and go to a short location and then stay for only a couple hours, not long enough to be a layover, just enough to kind of get a, a quick nap in there. So usually it's like, I don't know, three to five hours of sleep. And then you have to get up and then go work the same flight back to base. So you're just doing one flight out, one flight back, and then you have like a nap period, but not enough to really get sleep. Cause again, you only got like three to five hours to play around with. And that's time that you have to like eat if you're like me, time to get ready for bed and sleep. But a rocket is very similar to an Odan, except there's no rest period. And the flight is usually a little bit longer. So normally you'll go to destinations that are a little bit longer than what you would do for an Odan. And then there's no rest. You literally immediately turn around and come right back. I, I personally don't really care for either of them. I love my sleep. I need my sleep. <laughs> like, so they're not my favorite. If you can get past the lack of sleep they're usually really easy flights to work because like people are sleeping late at night and early in the morning so i talked to one of the flight attendants and she said oh i do these all the time i have like a system i sleep in my makeup and then i was like hmm hmm i try really hard to take care of my skin and not sleep in my makeup i used to be very very bad about this and i would sleep in my makeup all the time but in this instance, I was like, I think she's onto something. But the reason I even got put on this trip to begin with is because the original crew was taking an Airbus 320, which only needs three flight attendants. But they had a maintenance issue, so they got upgraded to a 321, so they had to call me to come join them. So originally the sequence never had a position number three on it. Because it was delayed, because of everything else going on, our rest is even shorter than normal. Like, I think we only have a couple hours and that is it. So I'm gonna go ahead, finish this, brush my teeth and get into bed. Let's cross our fingers that we can at least get a nap in there. And I will see you guys bright and early in the morning. <laughs> Good night. Okay. How are we looking so far? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> okay, let's fluff out. Let's fluff out the hair and see if our lashes and everything stayed intact. 
I'm tired. My hair is a mess, but I'm just, I'm not in the mood to fix it. It's just, gonna, it's just gonna stay a mess. The lipstick actually held in there all right, minus the brushing the teeth. That's where like most of it came off. All right, so good enough. This is what's gonna have to do. People are just gonna have to suck it up. It'll be fine. Most of them will be asleep. So let's go ahead and throw our uniform on and get our stuff out of the fridge. And I think we're good to go to the airport. <laughs> So funny I'm like way overpacked for an Odan but honestly when you're on standby you just never really know I think that is good so we are all good to go and right on time to go ahead and head down to the lobby right now Okay, don't laugh at me, but for some reason I was like walking, I was like walking through the parking lot and then putting my stuff in the truck and I was like, it smells like cinnamon rolls. For some reason this employee parking lot smells like hardcore like Cinnabon and I'm like, it makes me want a cinnamon roll so bad. But right now it's 7.45 so we are all done for the day, which is the good thing about Odans is they eat up two days when you're on reserve. But I'm ready to go home, make some breakfast and go to bed finally. So if you guys did enjoy this video, go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up, press that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. Bye.